Hi, it's Wilson with Own Real Estate. Today, we'll be diving into the top eight questions you need to ask your agent when selling a house. These questions will help you navigate the process better and deepen your conversations with your agent to make sure that you're getting all of the information you need to win in the current real estate market and sell for the highest price. Let's jump into it. Question number one, tell me about the last three clients you helped with selling. How did you help them win? Asking this question is a great way to learn about the other clients' experiences straight from the mouth of your agent. This encourages honesty from your agent and allows you to learn about their process, what drives them when working with a client. If they can't tell you how they were able to help their previous clients successfully sell, they may not be the right agent for you. Question number two, what makes you different from other agents I've spoken to? This is another question that encourages the agent to explain their value and essentially sell you on working with them. This question can bring all types of answers, but you want an answer that focuses on the seller's experience and how they won, not on the agent's success. Question number three, do you work more with trust sales, probate sales, owner-occupied sales, first-time home sellers, move-up sellers, or sellers moving out of area? When you're a seller, you want to work with an agent whose experience is relevant to your own situation. Whether you're selling for the first time or have a unique situation, you want an agent that is well-versed in the home selling experience. Since you'll be able to get more relevant detail and work with someone who is more experienced with your type of sale. The next question is, how do you work? Are you an individual or a team? And what's the difference? This question is very important to ask in order to know what resources you and your agent will have access to during the home selling process. If they're a solo agent, their reach may be more limited than an agent that is a part of a team. This question can also give you insight into how they work with others and if they are collaborative or combative in nature. The next question is how do you handle marketing and showings? As for marketing, identifying the medium, message, timing, and frequency is important. We have this laid out as a part of our come to market plan. As to showings, encouraging as many showings as possible in that short window of time is going to be extremely important once we're on market. Additionally, diplomatically handling questions and concerns on defects or imperfections regarding the home will be a part of our expertise to address without pushing people away. Next question is how do you handle negotiations? When it comes to negotiations, we encourage agents and consumers to write and facilitate as much as possible a multiple offer scenario. This is where the magic happens. As a diligent listing agent, we will be reaching out to buyer agents and their respective lenders to find more regarding the buyer. This allows us to maximize the multiple offer opportunity and get the best terms and most importantly, the best price for you. The next question, what's the best way to communicate with each other? Easy communication is key when selling a home, especially with so many moving pieces and vendors involved. We will communicate with you through the medium that makes the most sense for you as you are the most important piece of this sales puzzle. And the next question is, what are your thoughts on the current real estate market? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to potentially buy if buyers are looking? Agents will have good insight on the current market conditions and asking this simple question can save you from wasting a lot of time and energy if the market isn't good for your situation. An agent can advise if you should consider waiting until later in the year or later next year or in the future. And if your personal goals are not aligned with the current market, of course, this doesn't make sense to sell now. And a bonus question that you have to ask your agent is, do you have any references, reviews that I can read? Hearing from other clients what their experience is when working with the agent is essential. Past clients may have run into issues working with an agent at various points in the process that you can't pick up on in an initial meeting at a listing consultation. And that's why check out Yelp and Google reviews as well when you're talking to an agent to find out more about them. And with that, you're equipped with the essential questions to ask your listing agent and to be prepared to win in selling your home. If you're a first time home seller and looking for more information about the home selling process, check out our real estate sales guide playlist on YouTube. And if you're considering a move, make sure to get in touch with me or any of the agents on my team. Our information is below. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button and like this video or share it with a friend. Thanks for watching.